guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So since my newest tattoo is now a month old, I thought I would do kind of a healing a tattoo type of video. Not necessarily healing everyone's tattoo type of video, but maybe more along the lines of healing my tattoo. Just because everyone heals differently, you know, whether it's a cut or anything like that. Tattoos the same way, everyone's gonna heal differently. During the first week of having my newest tattoo, which is the crystal on my calf, I decided to film certain phases that the tattoo went through. So like the night I got the tattoo done, the day after I got the tattoo done, when the tattoo started to flake, when ink started to slough off, when the ink started to raise up. I thought I would film those moments so that in case someone is thinking about a tattoo and they don't know how to heal it, they can see at least how my tattoos all heal. Everyone's tattoo heals differently. You may experience different things with your tattoo, like some people may not experience swelling, I don't know. I would imagine so, because it is kind of traumatic to wherever you get it on yourself. But so I just thought I would highlight the first week that I had this tattoo. Like I said, this tattoo is now a month old. After the first week, you know, it was basically the same stuff. You know, ink starting to slough off, swelling going down. So I was like, eh, no sense in filming that. So I just filmed the first week, but I thought I would show those clips. Something else to mention real fast are the different items that I use to heal my tattoo. And so the first thing that I use to heal my tattoo is just Dove Bar Soap. It's, it's fragrance free, it's very basic, it's very mild on the skin, but it does what it needs to do. So that's why I got that. The other thing that you need to do when healing a tattoo is to keep it moisturized. You know, you don't wanna suffocate it by moisturizing it all the time, but depending on the size of your tattoo, or where it's located, you wanna make sure that it stays moisturized. So I always use Luberderm for dry skin, fragrance free. I don't get too big of a bottle just because I haven't had a massive tattoo that would need all of it. So I just go out and get the small bottle and that's what I use when healing my tattoo. Again, this video isn't necessarily a healing all tattoos video because my body's gonna react differently, your body's gonna react differently. So if something happens to my tattoo and it doesn't happen to yours, don't automatically think, oh my god, something's wrong, just because we all heal differently. So um, let's get into those clips. There's the pad that came off of the tattoo. It's mostly blood that's on there. As you can see, it is very bloody, and it's kind of making me sick right now, so I may have to take a moment. Yeah. All right, so I've gone on and wet the tattoo, and I've got some soap in my hand, so I'm going to clean it. Oh, that's tender as hell. Whew. So this is just a personal note but whenever i get a tattoo the first day of having it i get very squeamish when i touch it and i feel like i'm gonna pass out kind of like right now i feel very nauseous just touching it Whew. yeah but cleaning it feels good so one part of the healing process with a fresh tattoo this was suggested to me by at least two tattoo artists now is to take some cling wrap saran wrap whatever you want to call it cellophane um, and wrap your tattoo in it at night. So because a tattoo is fresh and the ink can sometimes actually, you know, bleed onto bed sheets, um, it's suggested to wrap it so that your skin won't get stuck to bed sheets. Um, so it's kind of gross when you take it off in the morning. Um, if it looks gnarly in the morning, I'll, I'll film it. But um, this helps for like the first few days after a, a tattoo. All right, so it's the next morning after wrapping my tattoo. Um, this is the second night of having the tattoo, so it's not immediately after the, getting the tattoo, but it was suggested to wrap it for the first few days just because ink will, will leak or bleed or whatever you want to call it. Now I just need to unwrap it so I can clean it. As you can see, it it sweats them. You can see kind of some of the ink ran, but better to get it on the uh, saran wrap than on my bed sheets. All right, so try and ignore the water in the background, but you can see how some of the ink is finally starting to slough off, kind of. So that's good. It's that time of the day. Time to wash the tattoo. I don't know about y'all, but it's looking damn good. I'm so happy with it. Ignore my calves. They're ugly. Alright, 
it's been six days since I got this tattoo um, and you can start to see how some of the ink is raising and that means it is healing. Um, if you've never had a tattoo before or haven't really dealt with one before, during the healing process the ink will raise and it's basically just sloughing off like a layer or something so that you get the nice healed tattoo underneath. It's not a bad thing for parts of the tattoo to slough off but as you can see in like the darker areas like where it's black um, it's starting to raise up and pretty soon it will flake and slough off and become a healed tattoo. All right so my tattoo today is flaking pretty 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 well. Um, you can see different parts of it are looking flaky so we'll just continue to wash it like normal. Piece right there. All right, as you guys can see, it is really starting to flake off now, um, especially right in here. A lot of flaking. It is very itchy now. Um, this tattoo is officially a week old, and so that's pretty typical for it to start doing the flaking process. So it'll start to flaking, and pretty soon we'll have a heel tattoo in eh, probably like three weeks' time, maybe a month. But um. Yeah, definitely flaky right now, so just continue to wash it and moisturize it. Yay. But that is it for my experience with healing this tattoo. Like I said, everyone heals differently, so don't automatically like freak out if your tattoo didn't go through the same things that mine did. I just thought I would highlight various phases for my tattoo. But if you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be. It's somewhere down there. But until next time, bye guys.